What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about why you should join a guild. This is mainly kind of geared towards new players, but if you're a returning player, uh, a person that's been around the game for a while, you never joined a guild, this will help you out too, hopefully. But today I just kind of want to talk about the benefits of being in a guild. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out all the information down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel gt racing being in a guild in my opinion is a very beneficial thing in game no matter what platform you play on of course if you are on playstation if you are play in the na servers on playstation uh you can leave a comment down in the comment section with your uh you know your information if you would like a guild invite to my guild on ps4 you know everybody's always welcome it's just a fun laid-back guild uh, for people to have fun enjoy the game that kind of thing so you know it's not really a, a video made to you know kind of promote my guild but i always want to have that option out there you know if you do want to join a guild on playstation like i said in the uh, na servers you're always more than welcome to just leave a comment and let me know um guilds in my opinion help uh players out new players veteran players alike with you know being able to access some content as we all know it is very difficult a lot of times uh, really if you're a dps to get into queues for dungeons and things. Uh, I'm not sure the wait, uh, about the wait times on every platform, but I do know on PlayStation, even though there's always tons of people online, uh, it seems like if you're a DPS, which pretty much 99% of the people that play the game are, I think, sometimes you can sit there for hours and never get queued for a dungeon. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse, just kind of depends. Uh, that's one reason, like you see in the background, I'm soloing dungeons. That's one reason I do that a lot on my DPS characters, because it, it's a lot quicker for me to go to solo a dungeon than it is to wait on know kind of uh you know waiting on that queue to pop so it does make some content more accessible so you know you can have guild mates that you can just go in and say hey anybody want to do the dailies anybody want to run dungeons uh you know are you you know are you wanting to learn to run trials that kind of thing a lot of guilds will have groups that will teach you how to run trials if you're a new player uh teach you mechanics if you're a veteran player you know you want to run more difficult content so in my opinion, one thing that really is helpful about guilds is it makes content more accessible. Another thing is you can be in up to five guilds at one time. So if you are a new player, you've never tried guilds out, you're not quite sure what you want, join different types of guilds. You can go into the guild finder, read information about these guilds. A lot of times you will see people, you know, kind of uh, recruiting out in the zone chat in different areas. You know, look into these guilds, see what they offer, see if it's a trading guild, see if it's a role-playing guild, PvE, PvP, whatever the case may be. Like I said, you can be in up to five at one time, so there's really no reason not to try out different guilds to see what you, you know, kind of find, see what you like. Because not everyone's going to like the same type of guild. Not every guild that you're going to get in, I'm not going to say everyone's going to be the most friendly, because we, we're playing a game that's just not how the world works. We all know that there's some people that are just trolly and, you know, unpolite and that kind of thing in games, but... For the most part, in my opinion, uh, majority of guilds you're going to get into, you're going to be able to find people that you enjoy being around, or if not, the entire group of people are going to be really a really nice community to enjoy the game with. Another thing is um, you're wanting to find the guild that is right for you. Kind of like I said to start out, you know, if you're wanting a, a guild for you know to help you do dungeons, uh, if you're wanting to learn, you know, veteran dungeons, if you're wanting to learn how to do trials, or if you're wanting to learn how to do veteran trials. If you're just a person that likes to role play, if you're a person that likes to, you know, quest, uh, if, if you want to learn how to trade uh, and, and make some money in ESO, there's a lot of options here. Uh, one thing I will say is if you are a brand new player, joining a trading guild right off the bat may not be the best thing because a lot of trading guilds are geared towards uh, that exactly. They're geared towards trading. So you're going to have to either pay a, a pretty hefty uh, fee if you're, you know, in a good trading spot week in and week out. Uh, to be able to be in that guild, you're going to have to pay that weekly and or and or a, a sell a certain amount of items to be in that guild. So if you're new, sometimes that is a little bit difficult for new players because they don't have the amount of gold that's needed really to, uh, you know, kind of get into those big trading guilds. Now, there are some smaller trading guilds, you know, they're either free or, you know, smaller fees, that kind of thing. If you're wanting to start out learning how to trade, those are probably the better ones to be in, you know, besides the massive, you know, big guilds. But overall, kind of when you get into the game, you start making a little bit of money. Trading guilds are enjoyable. I always recommend people being in at least one trading guild. That way you can make some good money in game. But I would not recommend joining a trading guild right off the bat if you're brand new to the game, if it's a large guild, like a large trading guild that charges a lot, you know, that kind of thing. That's more for 
players that have played a while that have the money to actually, you know, kind of put into it. But you always, like I said, can join a free trading guild if you are new to the game. Another thing that I think is uh, a good about being in a guild is if you're learning how to craft, you have any questions about builds and whatever, some of these larger guilds are, are great for that. A lot of people have homes that have all kinds of, you know, stations, Monday stones, whatever the case may be, uh, dummies, practice dummies, the kind of things at their house. We want to test your DPS. Uh, people that are, you know, master crafters that can help you, uh, you know, craft things if you need to, can teach you about crafting, all that kind of stuff. So that's another great thing about joining a guild. And last but not least, I think it's really just about community and enjoyment. It's, like I said, depending on what you're looking for, there's always a guild out there in the Elder Scrolls Online, no matter what platform you're on, that can really fit your needs. And the main thing, in my opinion, is community, like I said. The community in ESO, for the most part, is always helpful, very enjoyable to be around, and very friendly. And there's always an option out there, like I said, to find those top guilds. And if that's the kind of thing you want while you're playing, I would definitely highly recommend joining a guild in the Elder Scrolls Online. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys, and I'll catch you all next time.